All right, all right, back again. So for this problem, we're gonna tie in together classical mechanics with the e &M world. The statement reads, an ideal electric dipole is situated at the origin and points in the Z direction. An electric charge is released from rest at a point in the X, Y plane. Show that it swings back and forth in a semicircular arc as though it were a pendulum supported at the origin. Let's take a quick look at the diagram real quick. Here we see that the electric dipole is pointed in the z direction where theta is coming from the z axis into the xy plane and the point is released in the xy plane denoted with phi and we see that mg is acting down, t is acting uh, with the tether and l is the length of the tether. So the force of the field on the charge is given as F equal QE, where E is the field of the electric dipole, which we know from earlier. So our goal now is to show that the force on Q mimics the equation of a pendulum. So since we have the force on Q, we need to now consider the pendulum. From the free body diagram, we see that F is equal to negative mg z hat minus t r hat. Okay, but also from the diagram, we know that T minus mg cosine phi is equal to ma. However, since we know it's a pendulum, it moves in a circular motion, that A is actually a centripetal acceleration. That centripetal acceleration is V squared over L, but we need to find what V squared is. We can do this by considering conservation of energy, where we have the potential of the system before and the kinetic energy after. Once we set those two things equal to one another, we get that V squared equals 2GL cosine phi. But we need cosine in terms of theta, not phi. The diagram shows that cosine of phi is actually equal to negative cosine theta. So plugging these into the force equation, we get T minus mg negative cosine theta is equal to m 2GL negative cosine theta over L. Simplify that down and we get an expression for tension. Now that we have the tension, we need to substitute that back into the force equation that we found initially from the free body diagram. What we can also do at this time is put z hat into its polar equivalence since we're dealing with theta hat and r hat only. Once we do this, then it's just a matter of simplifying everything down. We see that everything is a common factor mg cosine or mg sine. We boil that down and then we factor out an mg out. This should leave you with a familiar looking expression in terms of the cosine r hat and sine theta hat. This total force is such as to keep the pendulum on a circular arc and it is identical to the force on Q in the field of a dipole where mg is analogous to qp over 4 pi epsilon naught l cubed. Evidently, Q also executes semicircular motion as though it were on a tether of fixed length l. Simply fascinating.